The Tories are the party of the talentless, according to voters who are fed up with waiting for a politician who they deem to be fit to lead. Conservative Party MPs earlier this month voted, by roughly 60 to 40 percent, to keep Boris Johnson as their leader. Many have since argued this was not the result of there being widespread support in his premiership and instead boiled down to a lack of choice. In Nottingham, Express.co.uk heard a wide range of views about Mr. Johnson himself. Dot, dot. Darren, who works for a local authority, said the question of his leadership boils down to trust, noting that there's a lot of things going on with the cost of living crisis and you need to know that you can trust the people that are representing you. He added, if you can't trust them then that's a huge issue. Sandra, on the other hand, insisted, he's doing a really good job, and that what has been dubbed party gate, needs to be over and done with. Dot. There was, however, a broad consensus among voters across different age groups and working in a range of professions, regardless of whether Mr. Johnson is fit or unfit to be Prime Minister, nobody else is right for the job. Pamela, a pensioner from the city, conceded that Boris has a lot of faults, but she added, no one else springs to mind as a prime minister or a leader. Quote dot. Asked whether Mr. Johnson was simply the best of a bad bunch, she said, through a wry grin, you could say that. Naomi, a liberal arts student, thought the prime minister's actions were definitely wrong, that his staying in number 10 makes a mockery of everyone who was really careful about following the rules, but added that, I don't know who would be best to step in. Stuart Chris put it more bluntly, branding the Tories the party of the talentless, insisting there was a completely lack of inspiration within it.